Today's video is brought to you by cdkdeals.com, which is a platform for selling OEM official genuine Microsoft activation keys and game keys. CDK Deals is offering Windows 10 Pro activation keys for the low price of just $21.36 but if you use the code BT25, you can get 25% off, which brings the price down to just $16.02. I also wanna note that by using these keys, you are eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11 if you use these real OEM keys from cdkdeals.com. Once you make your purchase, you wanna head on over to the user center, find your new key and copy it. Then you can go down to the Windows 10 search bar and type in activation settings. And here you can paste in that new Windows 10 Pro activation key and then hit next and eventually it'll prompt you to hit activate. Once you do that, you're all set and good to go and you have now activated your genuine OEM Windows 10 Pro key. All right, so today's build starts as always with the desk. This is a gray and white Linmon desk from Ikea measuring 47 inches long, which is perfect for today's build. I also got a set of white matching legs. These desks are super easy to put together. There is five screws per leg that you have to install by screwing them into the pre-drilled holes in the desktop. So you don't have to worry about drilling any pilot holes. You just simply screw them into the desktop and then you are good to go. Do that for each of the four legs and then we can flip the desk over and go on to the next step. All right, so now the desk is flipped over and is sitting upright. And on today's build, we're doing something a little bit different, something I don't normally do, which is installing LED strips on the back of the desktop. Normally, I like to go for a back of the monitor install. I think it just usually looks a little bit better, but I wanted to try something different today, so we are going with this. So, of course, you're gonna need your LED strips. I'm using a $5 set of Monster strips from Walmart. These things are great, I use them all the time, they've never let me down, and they look great for the price. And you'll also want some clear packing tape to help install these lights. The adhesive that comes on the strips is absolutely garbage and will fall off within the first like 24 hours. At least that's always been the case for me. So I just use some clear packing tape to help secure the lights onto the back of the desk or whatever else you're installing the lights on. So this install is way easier than doing monitor strips. All we have to do is just tape the strips onto the back of the desktop in a straight line all the way across from one side to the other. This is a super easy process. Every roughly 10 inches or so, you wanna use a piece of your clear packing tape to hold the strips in place on the back of the desktop. And uh, you just wanna do that all the way across the desk until you get to the end. And depending on what kit you bought for your lights, you'll probably have quite a bit left over at the end of the desk. And I'll show you guys how to remove that in just a second. So when you get to the other side of the desk, you're probably gonna have a couple inches of leftover LED strip that you wanna remove. It's super simple. There are pre-cut lines on the LED strip where it has a little scissor icon. You want to cut the LED strip on one of those lines. It doesn't matter which one, but if you don't cut on those lines, there's a chance you could damage your strips and they might not work properly. So just take a pair of scissors, any kind will work, and just snip it on the pre-marked line and that will take care of the excess. And then you just wanna put an extra piece of clear packing tape on the very end of the strip that you just cut to make sure that the end stays in place. And after that, your LED strips are already installed. It's a super simple process. And here is a small demo of what the LED lights look like against the wall when they are installed on your new desk. So first things first on the desktop, we have the monitor. This is an Asus 
VG24 24 inch 1080p 144 hertz one millisecond response time monitor with a curved design. Uh, if you don't like that curved design, they do offer a flat screen version of this as well, so don't worry about that. Links in the description down below for both of them. For today's build, we are using the stand that came with the monitor that came in two pieces, and we have to put those together. pretty simple basically you just slide the two pieces together and then there is a pre-installed screw on the bottom of the base you just screw that into the top part of the stand and then that secures it and from there you can go ahead and install it into the back of the monitor which is also a simple process you slide the clips into the top of the monitor and then use four screws which are supplied to secure the stand to the back of the monitor this is an easy process you could probably tell I'm using an electric impact to install these screws on the back of the monitor. Don't ever do this. There is a good chance that you will damage your display if you do this. I didn't have a screwdriver on hand and I'm kind of an idiot, so I just used the tool that was closest to me. Fortunately, I got lucky and didn't damage the display, but you could, so I would definitely recommend using a regular screwdriver if you're planning on doing this kind of install. But once you get those four screws installed, that's all you gotta do for the monitor. At that point, you can just set it upright and adjust it however you want. Moving onwards to the keyboard and mouse combo for today's build, we are using the Game by the On Brand that is sold at Walmart. Uh, these things are pretty cheap, that's kind of what I'm going for with today's build is a semi-budget build here, and I think this keyboard and mouse combo will work great. Both the keyboard and mouse have RGB LEDs inside of them, so you're going to get that nice colorful effect in your setup. On calls this a mechanical gaming keyboard, which I think is a little bit of a stretch, especially at this price point. The switches that they use in this thing are extremely metallic sounding, and it's very not satisfying to use if I'm being honest with you. However, it does feel better than most membrane keyboards, so I will give them that. And uh, either way, I think it'll be great for today's build. It is a fully functional mouse and keyboard, which is the most important part. And most of the budget went into the monitor, which I personally believe is more important than the mouse and keyboard that you use. But of course, if you prefer a nicer mouse and keyboard, you can always upgrade that on your own. This video is more of just an idea of what you can get at this price point. Turns out I also had an on-branded RGB mouse pad as well, which is great. I always love my stuff to match, so that looks pretty cool. And I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a little bit. But this is how I chose to route the cables. I just went with a straight back option, tried to keep the spacing pretty equal on both sides. For the keyboard, I used a silicone cable clip to keep the cable kind of taut and make it look a bit more clean. So at this point, you're ready to install whatever PC or console you decide to use with this setup. I went ahead and installed my PC and routed all the cables to the back of the computer. That way I can get all those LEDs fired up for the video so you guys can see what we're working with here in the final product. Uh, cable management is a little bit difficult with this desk, I will be honest, because there isn't much space underneath the desk to hide all of that stuff. But if you're like me and you don't look at the underside of your desk too often, then this will not be a problem at all. And of course, you can never go wrong with giving your setup a nice quick wipe down with a microfiber towel and some rubbing alcohol to get all that dirt and dust off of your freshly built setup to make it look that much more clean. Now at this point, the setup is ready to go and I would certainly recommend that you add some personalization to the setup. Maybe add some fake plants or some bobbleheads of your favorite movie characters, anything like that. Just add some character to it, really make the setup your own. And I gotta say, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how these RGB LEDs look in the keyboard and mouse, and certainly the mouse pad. For the price range that these items come in at, it's pretty difficult to find some that look good, especially during the day when it's light in your room, but these things actually look pretty great in person. But again, they are not the highest quality mouse and keyboard, so I would certainly recommend getting better if you can afford it, but if not, these will work great for you. 
So there you guys go. That is today's episode of Budget Builds. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. And of course, in the meantime, while you're waiting for a new video, you could always check out my other videos in this playlist, in this series, and on my channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.